Well, good morning, boys and girls, brothers and sisters of the hook. I have been going through some challenges here. I don't like to stop in the middle of the ocean when I'm, especially when I'm running wide open. And I want to go fishing. This motor, it's a 2003, but there's only less than, than 400 hours on it. And yes, I flush it every time I go out. And so I had to get on the internet and I was figuring out, trying to figure out what the heck's going on. And even though you flush your motor out with fresh water every time you come back, scale begins to build up. And you got to get rid of that scale. If you want open ports, ports get clogged up. I mean, no, there's 400, less than 400 mile, uh, hours on this uh, 115 outboard, four stroke. I have two anodes in there and one anode right here. I took them all out. This one down here looks like the the people that I had uh, tuned up my engine last. They replaced this one. Didn't look like they replaced those two. This one on the bottom was completely gone. Nothing but a nub left. That one up there was 90% gone. And just gob, just like it's a, a goo of crystalline, whatever it is, aluminum and, and zinc. But they were not doing their job. And I've got, so I've got brand new zincs in there on, on those three. I'm going to replace this zinc here. I'm going to clean that one down there because it's still a lot of zinc left on it. But right now I have, thanks to the internet, seen where people have given their whole engine a bath in red lime. Red lime is supposed to be the best. Well, it costs 28 bucks a gallon and then 28 bucks to ship. So I can't afford red lime. So I went down to my local uh, Home Depot and I got a gallon of this lime away. It's maybe 10% as strong, but as you can see, it's working. I have a 1200 gallon per hour, gallon per minute, whatever it is. Um, bilge pump in there hooked up to my battery I'm going to leave it going for an hour or two got my battery charger on it just to make sure it doesn't run down and I'm pumping it up through the uh, the hose that comes with you know you're supposed to be able to flush it flush your motor out but it doesn't get all the way up in through here I've taken out my um, this has already been cleaned. I already cleaned this up, my thermostat. I took it out because I want to see, I want, you know, I can't quite tell if the water's getting up into the very top yet. I'll work on that later. Um, I thought I needed a bigger uh, pail. You don't need a bigger pail for this system. But what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to get some red lime. I'm going to order some red lime, probably two gallons worth. And so I can flush it all the way through and I'll get a bigger bigger pail so I can run the engine and flush it. That way I know it's gonna see I got nothing coming out of the pee hole here. Nothing's coming out of the pee hole. Smell it. I can smell that red line working. But just from the ports, just from the ports up there, I was able to reach in and scrape out those chunks that came loose thanks to this red line. Um, not red lime, thanks to this um, lime away, who, you know, it just loosened it up, it left it overnight, and it just loosened the scale up, didn't dissolve much of it. It's dissolving some now and loosening up some now, uh, but I want the good stuff. So I'm going to order some of that. I want to be ready for red snapper season, but I thought I'd let you guys see that. And I might come back and, and once this, the foam stops, it means it's used up the energy in the in the lime away is all neutralized so i'll come back when that's the foam has started to go away
Wow. Well, it's been about an hour. Look at that. I'd say something's working. Something's working there. It's kind of cloudy. Don't see much in the bottom. I'd be interested to see when it's all foamed out. When the foam dies and it just turns to liquid clear. Seems to be working. Check it back in another hour. Okay, boys and girls, this is not, not the final install. <clears throat> Excuse me. The final uh, install of the motor flushing adventure because I have some red lime coming and red lime is supposed to be better than you know just about anything else to get rid of the scale but this is basically two days of flushing the uh, motor out with lime away which is not an industrial strength it's just household strength but I want you to look at all of that gunk came out of my motor and I flush it after every trip but I got a feeling that that's it and that doesn't you know that's what the solids are what has dissolved you can't see so anyway that's a lot of stuff but I got some red lime coming in um, should be here Wednesday and I'll probably do another four or five hour flush with that industrial strength descaler <clears throat> also today I'll probably have a separate video on this but I have four fuel injectors coming and this is a Yamaha 115 F 115 <clears throat> yours should be the same uh, configuration if you have a F 115 this is the water fuel cooler and I took this off this hose off and this hose off looks like I need to push this one up a little bit more Ooh, glad I saw that uh, I squirted water and it came right down through the bottom so it's not clogged up anyway I have uh, these fuel injectors coming I'm going to take these out take the, this rail off gently unhook these take the fuel injectors out replace them with new ones and I'll that'll be a separate video when I do that so that it'll be as, as simple and easy to see how to do as it can be all right I'm just gonna wait for Amazon to deliver these fuel injectors and then I'm gonna clean the old ones and have them ready I've got new fuel filters fuel injector filters coming hard to find actually uh, that, for the to get the right kind and I'll show you uh, as part of this video probably how uh, I'm cleaning the filters out and replacing filters all right get back to you when things start happening getting this motor back in shape All right, boys and girls, finally figured something out that's going to be useful to all the brothers and sisters of the hook who have Yamahas, probably any Yamaha, four-stroke at least. What I discovered is when I use this accessory flush right here, I was not getting any water, no matter, I had a great big heavy-duty pump down in there, or not in there, actually sitting on the side, and it still would not pump up through the thermostat here even though I had taken the thermostat out it still would not get into this upper upper uh, engine block area so what I actually in my sleep <laughs> half sleep figured out 
what to do is take this hose off up here back on the other side and I'll show you that and I have a submersible 1200 gallons per minute I guess it is or hour I don't know um, pump sub submerged in the red lime and water mixture got this all blocked off got the thermostat removed and of course bolted back on right there so let me get down here and show you exactly how to flush now this I don't have a hundred gallon bucket this is what I have now, I wasn't going to go out and buy a, a $90 hundred gallon bucket that costs almost 90 bucks to ship here so I'm just going to go ahead and use this Got it at uh, Lowe's, I believe. It's in the garden center. Had it for a while. So what I did is this is the hose down from the pump. It's pumping water up through. I took this hose off of here. Got a connector, quick connector, and it just fits perfectly, as you can see. So it's pushing water all the way up to there, in through the head. And what I was not getting was any water out of the uh, the pee hole right here, uh, ever. Unless I, you know, ran the, the motor with muffs on and I'd get water out of the pee hole here. So, this is what I had at the house without having to go buy something. I had this section of clear right here. So I disconnected the, uh, the pee hole. From the pee hole, <laughs> the tubing connected it into the outlet here, and as you can see, it's running down. So I'm getting red line through the pee hole, and this is where the thermostat would open up and put water through here. So I've got water coming through here also. So the, the pump is pumping up, and I'm getting water through the whole head unit. All the ports in there, next around all the uh, cylinders and everything, are slowly getting cleaned out. See there? Water coming out of there, too. Water coming out of everywhere. All right. Hours to go. Hours to go. I was going to go red snapper fishing today, but 17 mile an hour winds? Nope, don't think so. And I changed my lower unit oil. Coco, you be quiet. Changed my lower unit oil and that was smart. The Lord blessed me there because it seemed like I only had about three quarters full and about a quarter of that was milky. So I'm glad I got that taken care of, all sealed up, oil all changed. Now I'm flushing the engine, trying to get rid of some more of that limey junk that's in there, scale. And in a whole bunch of hours, I'm gonna let it run probably for four hours. Love it. Oh, yeah. And I had to get a piece of, of sheet metal here of uh, flashing. Put it on here because it was leaking out the front. This little old bucket's all you need. You don't have to go buy a whole great big expensive pail and stuff if you don't want to. You, I mean, it'd be a little bit easier, but this is what I got. This is what I'm using. Thank you, Lord, for, <laughs> for the, the blessing of figuring out stuff, how to figure stuff out. All right, I'm calling this game over. Game over, man, game over. Let that all drain out. You start buttoning everything up. Taking everything apart. 
closing it up before the big storms get here today. And they're coming. They always do in this time of the year here in Florida. In Florida. And make sure it all drains out. I don't want any pressure on this thing. I don't want any of that lime stuff in the motor. Okay, there we go. Also don't want to drain out on the ground. Okay. Not ready. Push this all the way up. All the way to make sure I get past that little cut mark right there. Hmm. Mysterious little cut mark right there for no reason. Huh. Okay, that's it. Gonna let that all calm down and then we'll take a look later on after everything settles. Gotta remember now that's dissolved. A lot of that stuff is dissolved. Looks like a muddy river. Ugh. Okay, now for the final rinse. Gotta get all that chemical out of the engine. Make sure nothing's going to be leaking. A strong stream of water there. This is the last installment of the motor flushing with a chemical red line. Take a look at that. That's what it looks like. It started off looking like clear tea and it looks like the Mississippi River now. Let's go ahead and dump this out since it's all been neutralized. Let's see if there's any solids in the bottom. This looks to me like it's mostly all dissolved. Smells a little bit like sulfur dioxide when it was going through the motor. Hope it cleans off some of my mildew on my pavement here. Nice and slow. Oh yes, oh yes. Put it in the bottom there, you can see it. Yep. Sure enough. Chunky, kind of chunky, but it's mostly dissolved. Oh, look at how thick that is. That's just like soup. Oh, see that? Yeah, that's mud. That came out of my engine. That came out of my engine. About every six months, Red Lime does not send me their product for free. I had to pay for it and the shipping. It's expensive, but it seems to work. That's what you want is to keep that motor going.